Hi everyone, my name is Alexandra Martinez. I am a developer advocate here at MuleSoft. In today's tutorial, we are going to see how we can secure our APIs using AnyPoint Flex Gateway from API Manager. Before we start this tutorial, you should already have installed your AnyPoint Flex Gateway replica in your computer. So if you go to AnyPoint Platform and then if you go to Runtime Manager, you should see a replica with the status of connected here. If you don't have this already, please go to one of the previous tutorial to install this first. We will also be using curl from the command line to make the requests to our gateway. But if you're not very familiar with terminal, then you can also use a REST client like Postman. The first thing we're going to do is to add a new API in API Manager. So let's go to API Manager, click on Add API, and add new API. This will open the wizard to get started. Now select the runtime where you want this to be. Let's select Flex Gateway and select the connected Flex Gateway that we have. Click on Next. Now we're going to create a new API from scratch. Select Create New API. Let's name this JSON Placeholder. And the asset type is going to be HTTP API. Click on Next. Since this is a non-mule API and it's located somewhere else outside of AnyPoint platform, we just have to add the implementation URI right here. You can leave all of the rest default options and select next. Now you just have to review that everything is correctly set up, select save and deploy. You will now see your new API with the status of active. To test this gateway, we can first call the normal API, which is JSON placeholder, and we will receive a payload similar to this one. We can also do it from curl if we type curl and then add the URL to connect to. And we receive the same payload that we did from Postman. Now this is calling the API directly, but we want to connect through the gateway and not to the API. So to do that, we can just Add here the URL to our local host, which is where we have our Flex Gateway right now, um, port 8081 or whichever port you selected when you installed Flex Gateway. And then we're also calling slash users slash one, which is the same path that we were calling before. Let's send this request and we receive exactly the same response because we are connecting to our API. You can also go and see the headers from the response and you will notice that there's an Envoy header being returned in the response. This is because we are actually connecting through the gateway. And from the command line, we can also call curl, then adding this V parameter, which is for verbose, and we will be able to see this header being returned as well. Now, if we go back to API Manager and we scroll down until we see the runtime and endpoint configuration, we can click on it to reveal additional configurations. Here, let's change the base path to be something different, like slash API. Now we have to make sure that the JSON uh, placeholder implementation URI does not end in a slash because it might give you some issues. So once that we have this configuration, you can just click on save and apply. So now if we go back to Postman and we try this same request once more, we won't be able to see it reflected. But if we add slash API, then we will be able to call this and receive the same response as we previously did. Same thing from curl. If we try to call the same request, we will receive an error response or no response at all. So now we have to add the slash API here as well. And this time it will work just as before. Now let's go back to API Manager and let's apply a basic authentication policy. If you click on the policy tab here on the left, you will be able to see all of the policies that you have applied. In this case, we have not applied any policies, so let's click on Add Policy. Here you can see all of the available policies that you can apply to your API. Let's select Security and then select Basic Authentication Simple. Now click on Next. We just have to add a username and a password in order to apply this basic authentication. Let's add foobar just to test and click on apply. Now the policy was added successfully, let's try it. 
if we go back to Postman and try to call the same request that we just did, we will receive a 401 unauthorized status code. So we need to add the basic authentication in the request. We can go to auth, select basic auth, and then add full bar. Once we do that, we can call the same URL once more and we receive the same message we previously did. Now from the command line, we can use the U parameter and add the credentials this way. If we do that, we will receive the correct response. Now let's go back to API Manager and let's add a rate limiting policy now. Click on Add Policy, select Quality of Service, and select Rate Limiting. Now click on Next. Let's select five requests every 10 seconds, like this. And then we can also select to expose the headers so we can see this information being reflected in the response. Leave all of the default options and click on Apply. Now we have two different policies applied to this API. If we go back to Postman and start sending requests one after the other one, eventually we will receive the error saying that there are too many requests being made, like this. So in this case, we received too many requests in the body, we received the 429 status code in the response, and we can also see the response headers with the array limiting remaining, limit and the reset time. We can also go to the terminal and run this command. This command means that the request will be made every second and we will start seeing the headers as we do it. So here we can see the limited remaining to one and once we reach zero, we start getting the error that we received from Postman. And we can also see the limit, which is five and the reset time. This is very insightful to troubleshoot and to just check how much time do you need to wait in order to start making requests once more. And that's it for this video. <laughs> Congratulations on being able to secure your API using any point flex gateway. In this tutorial, we learned how to add a new API in API Manager connected to Flex Gateway, how to change the base path in the gateway, and finally, how to apply policies to this API. Remember that there are two modes. There is connected mode and there is local mode. And in this case, we are using connected mode in order to manage everything from API Manager. But we can also do it locally with a configuration file. Keep posted for more tutorials about AnyPoint Flex Gateway. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye!